All right, next up, we've got this recording from Branch B. No, not that one, that's Branch C. And that's Branch A, come on! There we go, that's Branch B, finally. Okay then, let's have a look at recording M2410E0005FL. April the 14th, 1000 AD. We were pursuing three in the land of forests, but after obtaining a vital piece of info from Scent, we decided to head back into the mountains. <laughs> it's freezing here. You better not be wrong about this scent. Me? Wrong? Ha! How absurd. The most spectacularly delicious fruit in the world is just ahead. No fruit is worth trumping through all this ice and shit. If I'd known it would be this cold, I'd have stayed in the forest She's and tracked down Z's sisters. Well, in. you I can't fight on an empty stomach. Are you really killing Antona? Yay! But this better be the best damn fruit I ever tasted. Don't you worry. It's delicious beyond compare. The fruit is called a mandesi. <laughs> Delightful, huh? No? Eaten alone, it has a clean, crisp taste redolent of spread. But you can also make it into a rich jam to spread on bread or meat. And nutritious? Oh my heavens, yes. Far more so than your typical fruit, my hand. Tell me, is it any good for the old trousers, no? Good. It's nothing short of spectacular. <laughs> yeah. That is a piece of fine news. I can already feel my emotions stirring at the thought. Cerberus, huh? Hey, you think he tastes any good? Who can say? I doubt many ever had the chance to sample one. I ate one once. Not bad. Lots of gristle. Gristle? That's fun! <sighs> Lady Zero, your diet is a bewildering thing. <laughs>
damn this cobalt. Where's your stupid Mandesian already? Oh, we're close. <laughs> Ever so close. I'm going to turn it into jam and eat it by the spoonful. I'm gonna rub it all over my eyes. So, I can't believe we're actually trusting this idiot. Look out! I can't go any further. You fall back! No, leave me! Focus on zero! Huh. That treasure chest there. I may have been a little off on this. Oh, I just remembered. It's actually in the chest up ahead. I got a bad feeling about this. Making this shit up, aren't you? Me? No, no, never. <laughs> no. It's definitely, probably, somewhere on this continent. That's it. I'm gonna pull your heart out your asshole. Oh, hey, now I remember. It's right over there. Ah! The accursed intoner is here!
Right here! This is it for sure. Okay, executive decision. Next time we see a Cerberus, we're gonna feed it scent. Battered and exhausted after following scent like a bunch of idiots. We were forced to take shelter on a snowy mountainside. Better get some rest, too. I know I've said it before, but if you don't change course soon, things are not going to end well. Is that what your little book says? Indeed. Uh-uh. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Sorry. So you're not going to show it to me? I've been instructed not to interfere with the world. Liar! No, it's true. But, well, nobody said I couldn't give little bits of advice, at least. What the hell are you, anyway? We're recorders. Recorders? Right. It's our job to record world events from the ancient past to the distant future. You know the old world you people are always going on about? Well, I was sent by folks from there. Listen, I don't know jack about the old world. But if you're following me just to make recordings or whatever, you can knock it the fuck off! Well, sure. That's all I'm supposed to be doing. But after all these bad endings you keep encountering, I'm really tempted to help. Now let's try and wrap things up in a way that benefits all of us, hmm? Like I need you to tell me. I can wrap things up myself. <laughs> 